<laughs> well, the magical rituals that are performed by so-called white magicians and uh, have been performed for centuries in magical circles where they chop the heads off chickens or sacrifice goats and all this sort of thing. This is considered the most secret of secret sacrifices, the most violent of all sacrifices, that of the blood sacrifice. The blood sacrifice is really just a, a lesser version of a much eviler sacrifice, which in some of the old grimoires on witchcraft and ceremonial magic are hinted at only enough so that you know, reading very thoroughly, that the greatest of all secret sacrifices during a ceremonial ritual is, of course, the spilling of the seed on the ground. And so, rather than just masturbate in the eyes of their Jehovah, these so-called magicians would, would kill an innocent animal just for its blood throw agony to be put out into the atmosphere, which to me is one of the true blasphemies, which, of course, is light magic, too. Doesn't uh, the Holy Rollers uh, uh, operate more or less on the masturbation principle, even though they won't admit to this? I, I went to two or three of these things, and I noticed that the women and the men both were getting sexually excited, and it looked like they were having an orgasm. So. Yeah. You mean they were rolling out on the floor and they were becoming really very excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Sure. this happens a lot of ecstatic kinds. I got the impression that they were having an argument. Well, well, like what Crowley used, used to do was well, that well, masturbation, well, though. He would he would, he oh, would in our ritual masturbate. They don't call it that. Uh, uh, that's the other thing. Huh? That's the other thing. Well, about it, but women can do it. They masturbate without using their hands. Just don't know how. Why would I know? I've been because knowing about I'm boys a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, realize I, 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 use, I use boys to help. did you find boys? <laughs> I used to put the horses in the street. What age did you find out there were boys? I know about the about the boys. Did you ever read this accounting of uh, the old days when they had the sweatshops and the women would all work these hands? against the gods. The idea of the devil and the Satan as an individual which he can communicate with is the fantasy in his own head or an uh, imagination of his own. The, um, the hell that is supposed to be uh, controlled by the devil is what the individual makes for himself. If he's not in league with the devil, then his entire church, his entire religion is a farce. And uh, it, then, it, then it would be a racket, then it wouldn't be a religion. What do you think it is? I hope it's a religion. I hope that because of all the, the, the services he has, the, the speeches that he makes, and the people that he does convince that this is a, a true religion, I hope he's not deceiving them. I hope that he really believes. I'd be more inclined to think that this is just a means of personal aggrandizement and enhancement. He 
you could work as anybody else, you know, we are working people who make our living a decent way, you know. But probably it was too much. So he tried to get the uh, easiest way. So he sits home, he doesn't do anything, you know. He has all kind of things in his house, secret passages and all kind of uh, lights, you know. It, 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 it makes uh, effects, you know, it affects people. I uh, have no doubt that uh, he is uh, out purely for publicity. One of the most objectionable things to me is when a person asks, well, what do you have to collect money for? What do you have to charge for this religion for? Why don't you just have a free will thing where it doesn't cost to grow with this religion? And they accuse me of just being a money-making racketeer, a con man of some sort. When well, every other religion on the face of the earth hasn't seemed to object to, to uh, taking money from their parishioners. They've built large cathedrals in the midst of people living in squalor. They've constantly garnished people's wages, uh, in a sense, by having so many, uh, so much percentage subscribed to churches. And yet, no one has ever criticized this that is uh, in a position usually to criticize me for conducting a continence game of any kind. I feel the money spent to be poured into the satanic church, and I say poured into it, if possible, to be used for, or would be used for, much more worthwhile purposes than the building of edifices and cathedrals where the people who live in squalor, in many cases around them, can simply go into the church, beat their chests, and say, I am not worthy. At least when you give the devil his due, he smiles upon you, or at least expecting a little payment in return. No, he's not Believes in it, and uh, what he does, he, he practices what he preaches, and uh, what he preaches is really is living and eating good and loving good, drinking good, just living good as much as you can. You know. It seems that most religions now are buying oats for a dead horse. We feel that uh, all religions are coming around to Satanism. We're in the uh, very throes of a new Satanic age. The evidence is all around us. All we have to do is look at it. There is a new title for Christians called Christian Atheists. And, uh, of course, many movements such as the Unitarian Church have existed for a while in what would amount to a form of atheism in evening clothes. And we feel that there is no reason why these people shouldn't just flip the coin completely over and simply call themselves what religion has called them for many, many years. Call them devil worshippers or disciples of evil or Satanists. Of course, it's very hard for a person to hang an uncomplimentary label on themselves. And for this reason, for many years, there will be people practicing Satanism as good Christians or other religions. And uh, they will in instinctively pursue the very same things that we are, as they always have. Satan is simply a word that means the adversary, or the opposition, or the accuser. It doesn't necessarily mean evil, or brutality, or cruelty. It simply means the dissenter. Do you think the Satanic Church is a threat to Christianity? Uh, do I think it's a threat? Well, 6,000 people against millions is a small threat. It's just like communism creeping up. But I think the Satanic Church has its own views, and I think that each person should have the opportunity to express their views, freedom of speech. And if people have these beliefs, it's up to them. And if they really do believe these things, it's really up to them. But would you like to, you know, urge them to read the Bible and to pray about these things before they enter into these things? And remember, just as Mr. Lavelle uh, said, he said that they don't want people to join the church because of uh, carnal reasons, that they want them to join because they do believe in the religion. And I think that a lot of the people are going to join for carnal reasons. And that uh, this is a bad part of it. Do you find this morally wrong then? Yes, I do.